All right, so some quadratics just aren't factorable. We can't solve them by factoring. We can't get them into something times something equals zero. And what are we going to do? We're going to turn to the quadratic formula. So in the quadratic formula, we have to have the quadratic equal to zero. And the formula is x equals opposite b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. If you go online, you can Google all kinds of you can Google quadratic formula song, and you'll find all kinds of crazy songs that people sing about it to help remember. I'm not going to sing for you. You don't want that. It's not pretty. If you want a song, go find one on YouTube. So here we go. We're going to look at two examples, and you could try to factor this first one. We'll look at B in a minute, but you could try to factor it. It's not going to happen. So we're going to look for what we fill into this quadratic formula. And I always start with empty baskets like this, leaving place to put each number. Parentheses help me make, not make mistakes with signs. So what are our a, b, and c? We have to identify them first. The coefficient of x squared is our a, so a is 1. Coefficient of x is b, it's negative 2. And C would be the constant, which is also negative 2. We're going to plug those into these empty spaces. Pause the video and write down where you think A, B, and C go. Hopefully you filled them in as such. Now it's just a matter of simplifying. Opposite of negative 2 becomes positive 2. Negative 2 squared becomes 4. Four, negative 4 times 1 times negative 2 is 8. 4 plus 8 is 12. So we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 12 over 2. But we're not done. We have to look at this radical and we have to see can we simplify it. Are there any perfect squares that go into 12? Yeah, 4 does. 4 times 3 is 12. So we can write this answer as 2 plus or minus 2 root 3 all over 2. And what I'm noticing here is two, I can do 2 divided by 2. I can take the 2 root 3 and divide it by 2. I can divide both these terms by 2. Here's my final answer. 1 plus or minus the square root of 3. So why don't you pause the video, and I want you to try and complete example B from start to finish. All right, let's see how you did. So we start out identifying that a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to negative 4. We're going to plug those things in to the quadratic formula. 3 squared is 9. Negative 4 times 2 times negative 4 is 32. 2 times 2 is 4. So we have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 41. Are there any perfect squares that go into 41? No, there aren't. Square root of 41 cannot be simplified. This is the best exact answer that we can give. Now, just like with factoring, you have to make sure that both or that your equation is equal to zero. The quadratic formula cannot be used if the quadratic equation isn't equal to zero. So keep that in mind. Hopefully this rings a bell. Hopefully you've seen this before. Hopefully you can plow through these problems.